I give all praise, glory, and honor to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, which in Hebrew are the wonderful names of the Creator, our Heavenly Father I Am, which this world has named God, and His beloved anointed Son, which this world has named Jesus. I give honor, respect, and thanks to all the true, faithful, and sincere apostles, elders, prophets, and torchbearers of the nation of Israel, who have willingly endured and risked much to bring forth the truth. Thank you, brothers. In this chapter, we are continuing the conversation of blessings and curses of the Northern Kingdom, the Northern Kingdom of the nation of Israel. The nation of Israel is currently divided into two kingdoms, the Northern Kingdom of Israel and the Southern Kingdom of Judah. But as a whole, when we are together, united, the nation of Israel is the so-called Negroes, the so-called Latin Hispanics, and the so-called Native Americans. For many of our brothers and sisters of the Northern Kingdom, the so-called Latins and Hispanics, particularly those living in South America, this may be the very first time that you hear these words, that you are an Israelite, that you are a member of the mighty nation of Israel, that you are one of the holy chosen and peculiar of the most high power. This may be the first time you hear it. And for those of our brothers and sisters who haven't understood the truth and who are now starting to understand the truth, Welcome home. This chapter is a direct continuation of the last video, so let us jump right back in. The next scripture we're going to is the book of the prophet Daniel, chapter 7, verse 7. After this I saw in the night visions, and behold, a fourth beast, dreadful and terrible and strong exceedingly, this is talking about Mystery Babylon. This is talking about so-called America today. They were the first ones with the nuclear bomb and put fear on the whole earth for a long time. And it had great iron teeth. It devoured and break in pieces. It's devouring the whole earth. The whole earth. Water's polluted, earth's polluted, food's polluted. Everything's poisoned. Even our minds are poisoned. Everything's being ripped apart and stamped the residue with the feet of it. And it was diverse from all the beasts that were before it. And it had 10 horns. So all these other beasts before it operated out of Europe, even though they had reach through the earth, they operated out of Europe. Mystery Babylon, however, is in North America, isolated alone, off by itself. And from this position, it does not have to worry about being invaded. And so it feels safe. Verse 25, and he shall speak great words against the Most High and shall wear out the saints of the Most High. The Israelites, we are the saints of the Most High and they have worn us out through slavery, lynching, murders, rape, stealing land, stealing resources, turning our women against us, destroying our history, and think to change times and laws. Like we just went through daylight savings time. That's a man-made construct. That doesn't exist anywhere. It's a man-made construct. And they shall be given into his hand until a time and times and the dividing of times. So that's 350 years. We have to endure. Because it is given into the hands of the enemy. Into the hands of this beast to be what it is. To punish us. And we must endure. It is given into his hands. It is given unto him. He has authority, he has authority and power to be who he is. Verse 26, but the judgment shall sit and they shall take away his dominion. Who, who are they? The saints of the Most High, the Israelites, to consume and to destroy it unto the end. 
verse 27 and the kingdom and dominion and the greatness of the kingdom under the whole heaven shall be given to the people of the saints of the most high whose kingdom is an everlasting kingdom and all dominions shall serve and obey him him being Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai so our brothers and sisters of the northern kingdom are being afflicted and as it is written there will be tribulations in the last days that have not been since the beginning and we must endure it and you my brothers and sisters of the northern kingdom must endure it now how do you do that the book of Deuteronomy chapter 30 verse 1 and it shall come to pass when all these things are come upon thee the blessing and the curse which I have set before thee and thou shalt call them to mind among all the nations whither Yahweh thy most high power hath driven thee so here's what the father is saying it shall come to pass it'll happen when everything I told you when every blessing and every curse comes upon you which I said I would put upon you and you have in this Bible to to look upon so well yeah he said that <laughs> he said that too yeah yeah he said that too then we as a nation shall call them to mind we will remember them we will remember them and that's where a lot of our brothers and sisters are right now is remembering who they are and remembering the covenant and the contract and that we shall call them to mind we shall remember among all the nations were scattered to the four corners of the earth whither Yahweh thy most high power hath driven thee so he said he said you pollute my land get out of here go I'm gonna have these other nations take you to the four corners of the earth you go there and you be in your punishment for a while and when you get enough wherever you are on the four corners of the earth you'll start to remember verse 2 and shalt return unto Yahweh thy most high power and shalt obey his voice according to all that I command thee this day thou and thy children with all thine heart and with all thy soul and shalt return unto Yahweh thy most high power and shall obey his voice this Bible is the recorded voice of Yahweh the most high power you must remember your history you must remember who you are and who you serve and why we are being oppressed today we turned our backs on the father so in the midst of all these spiritual battles and this intense spiritual warfare and this oppression by the enemy when we look at the blessings that have occurred as it is written and we look at the curses that are currently upon us as it is written it is the testimony that when the father speaks it shall happen and what has our father spoken what has our father spoken through the prophets the last scripture we're going to in this chapter is the book of the prophet Zechariah chapter 8 verse 13 and it shall come to pass that as ye were a curse among the heathen O house of Judah and house of Israel you niggers you spicks you wetbacks you prairie niggers you migrants you illegal aliens you poor people you thieves you murderers <laughs> you dirty people so will I save you and ye Israel shall be a blessing fear not but let your hands be strong as it is written Asher the tribe of Asher shall dip his toe in oil the richest oil reserves on the earth are under the feet of the tribe of Asher the blessings of the tribes were spoken of thousands of years ago 
and you can see them with your own eyes today. The curses were spoken of and they are occurring today. So, if the Father says he will save us, he will. Fear not and turn unto the truth. Turn unto this living water. Turn unto the prophecies. Turn unto your nation. Turn unto your king, Yahawashai, and turn unto your father, Yahawah, and be who he made you to be. Make no mistake about it, World War III and the nuclear destruction of America are coming. It will coincide exactly with the return of our King of Kings, Lord of Lords, Savior, High Priest, and Brother Yahawashai. Thus saith Yahawah. Philippians 2, 9 through 11. Wherefore, Yahweh also hath highly exalted him, and given him a name which is above every name, that at the name of Yahweh Shai every knee shall bow, of things in heaven, and things in earth, and things under the earth, and that every tongue should confess that Yahweh Shai is Lord, to the glory of Yahweh the Father. As it is written, Thus saith Yahweh, and nothing can stop it. This is a final warning, Israel. Shake off this world, remember who you are, and come home. All praise, glory, and honor to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai.